Good morning. Good morning. So day eight. Day eight in sunny Florida. We're coming to Sea World. We're gonna have a great day. We are gonna have a great it day. It is a hot one. We've got all day here, but because we had a late night night last night, we've had it took it slow this morning and it's eleven o'clock now. But we plan to come again on the second day, so we're yeah. gonna take it more chill today. And um, we're just about to go in after we've had some photos with the lighthouse. We'll see you inside. <laughs> to enjoy the park. Who knew it was the 60th anniversary of SeaWorld? Okay, so everybody's going for a little toilet break. Me and Lindsay are just wandering about, waiting for people at the minute. Um, but I'm going to come over and take a little look at the dolphin nursery. See how cute this is. Happy birthday, princess! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, princess! Happy birthday. Oh yeah! We've seen the dolphin nursery. Jack got a little bit of footage there. So cute! She was getting a birthday song. Yeah, it was her 14th birthday. 13th Aurora's birthday, wasn't it? Oh, Aurora's 13th birthday. Um, there's also a dolphin in there called Dash, who apparently a lot of the dolphins choose her as a parenting partner. So they'll choose a mating partner for genes, but then they'll also choose a parenting partner to help them to bring the um, babies up and if they ever rescue a dolphin in the wild, a baby dolphin that's orphaned or needs help from the wild and they bring it to SeaWorld to let it recuperate, she always takes them in. So she's a very good dolphin. Sounds so adorable. <laughs> but considering how busy it was when we came in, it's not too busy around here. No, the entrance was mad but everybody sort of dispersed their own thing today. Yeah. We've come in from the right, come in anti-clockwise and we're going to check out on the app to see what kind of shows are, what times the shows uh, and then we're going to play it by ear. Yeah. Okay, we're going to watch one of the sea lion shows. It um, doesn't start until half past. Going to tuck into my Gideon's whilst we wait for the sea lion show. So we used to come here quite often and for years and years it used to be the pirate show, which is what they've changed it now to a more factual show. It's called Flippers Facts and Fun now. Flippers Facts and Fun. Uh, so, really excited to watch something a bit again something yeah. new and it's actually for the kids first time seeing the sea lion show and maybe we'll learn something along the way yes we will learn something along the way we're hoping the mime is still here but we will see if you yeah, all remember the mime we'll, so. and we'll learn something new because it said flipping Exactly, flippers, facts and fun. Well, all the information is on the app. You can view the park schedule. Obviously there's lots of show times here. We are now on quarter past twelve. So we're in the sea lion show. Keep track of them all here or you can go onto the map and select whether you want to see the animals. It'll tell you where all the animals are. If you want to do the rides, you've got all the rides and the ride times, 25 minutes, and the height restrictions. Same for dining, tells us where we are, we're currently in the Sea Lion um, and Otter Stadium. Okay, we are very excited. Today's a very big day. We get to meet the 
brand new director, and we're very excited to meet him today. Yes, we are. Us, us, us. This section is filled with information about sea lion adaptations. Facts, facts, and more facts. Maybe you should take this one. <laughs> and they have a variety of vocalizations. Did you know sea lions get their name from their very loud roar? They are from the top, from rock to rock. So I wonder if they're up to top. Okay. and learned some cool facts and we got a little bit of footage of it. It wasn't as good as the pirate show used to be, but it was still really good. <laughs> we are now heading into the shark encounter. We're not, I'm not 100% sure what it is. Lindsay's not. Lindsay's just a walkthrough. Yeah, we think it's just a walkthrough, but we're going to some footage of it anyway. Yeah. encounter to the outdoor pool there's a grill which will sell alcoholic beverages grandma you can get cocktails and wine in there we've been through the shark encounter that's quite relaxing aircon good information about the conservation on the walls and then we've got the two open pools. yeah open pools you can with... buy for eight dollars some fish to feed the sharks yeah you've got the opportunity to pick quite a few things here so rather than spending it straight away on it yeah but now i think we're heading over to the kraken yeah, we're heading over to Kraken because it's only a 10 minute wait at the moment. Yeah. But I don't know if it's just for the summer event, but there's quite a few cocktail places and barbecue places to eat. Just got off of Kraken. Hi. Great fun. We enjoyed it. Yeah. How are you faring, Jack? I'm okay. <laughs> I don't think it's faring very well, but we had fun. So, are you it doing all fun. the? It was really, really fun, and I feel a bit sick. But he's still going to go on the other rides with us. Otherwise, we'll get bored. We're going on them all, aren't we? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get some to feed him. Hi, Mister. Are we doing it? 
Are we doing it? Yes. We've got some food. It is $25 for four trays or one tray for $8. We've been told to be mindful of the wild birds that are trying to steal the fish. These guys over here with the funky hair. Right. This guy's waiting patiently. Right, hang on. Let me take a step back. Last one, JP. Oh, no. oh no, we've got that one. The, the seal still got it. Sea lion. Sea lion got it. Oh, it gone. Was... Sorry, we only had one tray, mate. Is that it? He's like buying them off then. Oh, look at that one just chilling over there. Yeah. It's always impressive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're heading back past this way because we've decided to go for some food. Yeah. Somewhere aircon. We're thinking then uh, Seaport Theatre. But it's so hot at the moment. It's like half two. It's blaring sunshine. Um, we're going to possibly do that, do a couple more shows and then dip out the park and maybe go for a meal or something tonight and chill tonight. And next time we come to SeaWorld, we're going to get here early for when it opens because looking at the app this morning, the ride times were a lot lower this morning. Yeah, than they are now. Than they are now. And Our journey to Atlantis is like 85 long. minutes or something. 85 minutes, yeah. And as you know, if you've been to SeaWorld before, a lot of the queuing areas are um, uncovered. Yes. So you just stood in the sunshine. So if we come really early, we can get the rides out of the way in the morning. And we've also got all day then to get the shows done, whereas because we came midday today, it's super hot. We've um, missed a few of the shows, show time, so we can't fit everything in. So, and we did want more of a chill day today anyway, didn't we? Yeah. So that's the plan so far. So we're here now, back where we started. There's lots of um, like pub grub things and barbecue, um, outdoor eating stuff, which actually looks and smells amazing, but we really want the air con, don't we? Yeah. Um, so that's the plan. We're gonna eat in here, Voyager. When I've come with my family, we've always eaten in here because it's quite a large seating area. We always find somewhere to sit and it's air con. And right next to Seaport Theatre for when we want to do the show in 40 minutes. So we've gone for the brisket, the chips, salad, with a refillable drink. Great music all the time. You're listening to Waterfront Radio. Now, my name is Mel, and I'm very fortunate to be one of over 350 animal care specialists right here at SeaWorld Orlando. I really do have the best job in the world. I mean, where else do you get to wake up every day, help take care of some animals, and also share their stories? Now, she is fully grown. Um, she is about eight pounds. Um, so by the end of this, my arm will be on the floor. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Um, but these guys here are, once it's a female, uh, they tend to be a little bit larger. Um, this man is as long as 13 feet, so. Um, when she gets that big, we're gonna need a lot more hands. But he is one of two species of ground hornbill, both which are found in Africa. Um, he is the largest of all of the hornbill species. Until next time, remember to cherish every tale. Within each one lies a story worth saving. Thank you, everyone. We've just been into the Rescue Tales um, talk and I think that was really nice. It was nice, it's very informative. The only thing I'd say is it wasn't very exciting for the kids. No, the kids got a little bit interested. It was more of an informational talk about uh, some of the conservations um, and the rescue uh, and the rescue work. They brought out some examples of um, animals which have been rescued in-house, so there's a uh, ground hornbill. Which you called straight away, yeah. my little zoologist over here. <laughs> Um, there was There's a baby alligator, uh, which was 18 months old. Yeah, there was um, an eagle owl. Yeah. There was a snake as well. Yeah. But yeah, it didn't keep me through all the time, but we, we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. It's nice to know, despite all the controversy around the sea world, they're still cracking on and doing the good work and they're still rescuing animals. I think Jack got a clip of how many rescues I did, so we'll put that, we'll put that in. Right here at SeaWorld Orlando this year, we've already released 26 manatees. 45 sea turtles. Let's give it up for the rescue team at Vetsa. Woo! I enjoyed that a lot. 
it is half past four. We're heading to the dolphin show, which is at five o'clock. Uh, we were gonna do some of the water rides, just a little tip, I don't know if it's just us today, but the, the um, waiting times on the app are wrong because it said 20 minutes for Journey to Atlantis and I also said 20 minutes for the new water ride. I'm not sure what that is, something falls. And it was 135 minutes. So we decided not to wait in the line because we want to come back to do the rides and we're heading to do the shows. We have never seen this ride before. This is new to us. Flamingos <laughs> oh. lift one leg when they're, um, when they're standing up. Um, don't know. Yeah, they lived it both at fall. <laughs> that was a long old walk in the heat, but we made it. We are at the, what's it called? Dolphin Stadium. The, the Dolphin Adventures. We're at the Dolphin show. Adventures. Looks very, is this where we saw the sea lions earlier? No, it's a similar layout of this, um, how you enter the stadium. Right. But it's not the same place. Okay. So it's got the same, like, as you're going up, we've got information for uh, Anatomy of a dolphin. Um, but it's a larger theatre. Because obviously there's dolphins, not little sea lions. Not that sea lions are little, but... Um, yeah, so it's five o'clock. This is the last showing of the day. Oh, oh man, just in time. Kill. Same. <laughs> Okay, so even though it's 34 degrees, the same temperature it's been all week, it feels hot today, doesn't it? It's so awful. It's humid, like literally you sit down and you're wet from sweat. It's sliding off myself all the time. I don't know what's made it hotter, because it's cloud cover. There's not much of a breeze, that could be it, I don't know. It's gross today. It's our mutual love of play that provides that connection between us. And over the last 60 years, SeaWorld has learned that their play ultimately leads to our discoveries. If we remember rightly, you can see oh, bits yeah, of the aquarium. Bits of the aquarium during the queue, and it is nice and aircon as well. So even if it is a long queue, it shouldn't be too bad. It's just the fact that the others are waiting for us. Um, so it's one minute to six. We'll see how long it takes. Hello. Um, don't say what he is. He's cool. Ladies and gentlemen, riders of this attraction will be exposed to forces, speeds. So Lindsay and Charlotte have gone on Manta, me and the kids have just gone around the aquarium um, with Roger and Grandma. Um, yeah, so Charlotte and Lindsay have gone on this ride behind me, that big one there. Um, I have vowed, maybe as a mistake, that when we come in a couple of days that I will also go on Manta. But today, I was already feeling a little bit off after um, the Kraken. I've eaten a load, I've drank about two or three of these, I'm dehydrated, sweating a lot. So not really feeling it at the minute. Um, but, all in all a good day. Um, we're going to do a little update later on uh, on SeaWorld and give us quite a candid response, a candid um, review. So we're going to get a little bit of footage of the roller coaster for Lindsay 
and uh, obviously to insert maybe here on the borders. And I'll see you soon. We're going on the last row and it's taken us 11 minutes to get here. We'll be on the third or fourth one going. So it wasn't both the app and the time outside were both wrong. So they may be doing it to make you buy the express passes. I don't know. Okay, so Lindsay and Charlotte should be coming on any second now and we'll try and capture them about here maybe around this loop and then if I can follow them to about there uh, and then obviously I'll be able to keep up after that okay here we go guys let's see if we can see them okay Wait, wait. There they are! Right there! I've lost them! I've lost them. There they are. And they're gone. Jesus Christ, I'm glad that's not me. That was good fun. Yeah, loads of fun. <laughs> And we were on and off in about 15 minutes. Was it 15 minutes? No, 15 20 to 20 minutes. 15 to 20 yeah, minutes on long. and off. Um, but yeah, really good. Forgot about the bit which goes backwards. Can you feel all the G-force? Is it G-force? I think, I think it's G-force. That's what I'd call it. <laughs> yeah, we, we're calling it G-force. So yeah, it was really good. I found him. I found him. Here they are. How was it, ladies? Fresh off the ride? Tell me everything. Really good. Really good. You enjoy it? We said we forgot about the it goes back. Yeah, it goes back a lot and it lays you down. Was that when I saw you or were you just on it when I saw you? Yeah. We were just on it. We were just on it. Oh, okay. There's a picture I've got of you both. You like that? <laughs> Did it look like we were going as fast as we were going? Oh, you were going really fast. Yeah, yeah you were going really fast. Stingray Lagoon. It's quite close to the entrance of SeaWorld if you go to like the left side. It's not far from the Dolphin um, Stadium. You can buy some shrimps. I haven't checked the prices, but it's probably eight dollars for it. Yeah, and they are taking you. Pop the shrimps between your fingers, and they'll come swim over you and take the shrimp. We've managed to stroke them without having to buy the shrimp. Um, and I've never come up and not been able to stroke them. So it's up to you to try and feed them or not. Good old man. Bought us have a little pin, uh, and the woman that checked us out was English, so checked us out. Pins are expensive now, so we're not just buying any old pin, we're getting ones which mean something. So, this is the 60th anniversary for SeaWorld, and it's got an author on it, so that you $14. Often, is it going to be the 60th anniversary? Exactly. All um, profits from the SeaWorld Rescue Shop go back into the rescue side of it, so you know, good cause. It's a wrap on SeaWorld. It is. Six. Ten to seven. We're, we're in ten, we're leaving now since so about four o'clock. It's yeah. now ten to seven. We've got a last refill of a slushy. Yeah. Got our money's worth out of this. Definitely, definitely. Um, if there was anything that was like a really smart move today, buying one of them refillable cups is 100% the one. It's, it's like a big 
which feels like a big purchase to start with. It costs seventeen ninety nine, I think. Yeah, but we've had about five or six yeah. full drinks out of that. And for one Coke or Sprite or whatever, it's, it's like... six dollars? Yeah, five dollars something. Um, so two drinks each would have paid it off and we've got a free cup out of it. We've had way more than that. Like, yeah, loads more, loads, loads more. It's free unlimited the day you buy it. Yep. But yeah, any, any other day you visit any of the parks, you can reactivate it for $6.99. Yeah, so and then you get unlimited for the full day, yeah. which is well, well worth it, considering one is like, what, loads of $5, $6. So well, well worth it. So well, um, yeah. But now it's time to head back to the car and continue with the rest of the day. We'll see you in the car. Home sweet home. Hello, welcome to the end of day seven. Eight. I can't remember. So we've been to SeaWorld today. We didn't have a full day there. We had a bit of a lay-in, as you've probably seen already. And we got into SeaWorld um, for 11 o'clock. The SeaWorld app is good for looking at the different show times because obviously there's, um, there's lots of shows on. Yeah, this, to name a few, there's the sea lion show, there's the dolphin show, there's the rescue animal show, there's the um, keeper talks, and of course there's the orca show. You can go to the rescue centre and they'll talk to you there as well. Um, we didn't get everything done today we kind of took it as a slow day because we also left early as well rather than staying for the fireworks and things yeah, everybody was a bit hot everybody was a bit tired it's probably the hottest day we've had so far yeah it was so but, humid the temperature yeah. wasn't anything different but oh my god the humidity was killer yeah wasn't it? temperature's been the same about 34 the, 35 yeah i enjoy sea world I, I really loved sea world yeah. the staff we never met a happy staff member apart from the ones that were working with the animals. Yeah, that's I couldn't have said it any better. The um, only people that actually looked like they wanted to be there were the ones that were dealing with, like, working with the animals. She said there's like 300 that just work at SeaWorld. Yeah, like, basically everyone, the 300 rescuers and people who just work with the animals, isn't it? Like trainers like and things. But obviously, we've done a few days at Magic Kingdom and they're very organised there. We're telling you where to stand and what to do when you're going in. Um, but at SeaWorld, it was just a big free-for-all to get in, it felt like. Yeah, and, and for example, like on Kraken, when we all went on at Disney, <laughs> they, um, they're very official with the lions. They say, take up all the space, you know, the, if you're in any of the shows, they say, go to the end of the row. If you're going on a ride, they say, you know, like, you, go, yeah. you go there, right, we need a two, right, go on there. So Kraken seats four, so at Disney, that what they do, only two went on, they'd see there's another two that want to go on. Mm. But they weren't, they were just letting, putting the seats down and sending it off with two empties, and the queue would have been a lot faster, yeah, wouldn't like it? Yeah, like there was a solo rider in front of us that basically wanted the road to himself, and so two people went on, and then that ride finished, and then the one person in front of the group in front of us, he went on on his own, and it was like, you know, mm. it said it was a 45 minute wait, and then the actual barrier, the one barrier to get through the, like, you know, to on, onto the ride, we were still there for like 20 minutes, weren't we? Yeah, but the actual ride. Because people get going on, on solos as duos, and it was like, you know, no wonder it's taking so bloody long to get on the ride. So yeah, it could definitely be more efficient. Yeah. But then um, obviously the staff, as you were entering, and a lot of the staff as you were in the shops and at the serving places, they weren't, they weren't very helpful no and they were a little bit short with us when we were trying to ask for help with certain things but and this isn't no this isn't meant to be awful either everything was very slow as well the workers were working quite slow yeah but it might it was like we've already said it was a very 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 hot day and they mm -hmm. probably feel it as well yeah exactly so um so you never we've know we've enjoyed our day but for me, it's not the best day that I've had on this trip so far. But we've got another day at SeaWorld to hopefully redeem it. Because yeah. um, we have actually had a really good day. We've got on a few rides. Yeah. We've seen the shows. Um, we spoke to a really nice woman over by the Dolphin Nursery who told us loads of things which we've already told you. I went in and she was singing Happy Birthday to a Dolphin that was on its side. She didn't go, like, you know, all she did was go over to the side and just start singing to it and it popped out, laid on its side and let her sing Happy Birthday yeah. to it. And as soon as she finished singing Happy Birthday, it was like, Okay, and just dive back in the water, and I was yeah. like, well, that set the store. And then from there, I was like, don't really get much better than that. Mm -hmm. Also, really, really nice to see how much work they are doing at SeaWorld to, you know, for the research and for the um, conservation and the rescue and yeah. stuff. They had a figure on the wall as you went in um, saying they've saved over 41,000 um animals in the in the wild which i think is incredible they do a very very good job with the rescue and rehabilitation we're going to go um, focus on that a bit more next time we go in yeah um which will be in a few days time what was your highlight of the day i don't know what mine was mm, highlight of the 
today? No. Mine was the ground horn bill. I absolutely oh, loved him. He yeah, was amazing. He was, he was gorgeous, wasn't he? Yeah, he was sweet. I like that. <laughs> I'll get back to you on mine. Okay. Um, my brain's dead. It's quarter to eleven. We've got an early morning again tomorrow. So we'll finish this here anyway. Oh, spends spends wise. I think we've talked through. We haven't actually bought much today. We bought a um pin which we've shown you that was fourteen dollars bought a meal a meal yeah um our refillable drinks and a pin and that's yeah that's it really yeah. we've so done, we're we've done really well today we're, we're on the budget <laughs> if that's if that's the universal signal for that <laughs> so we will see you tomorrow for hopefully another day under budget to catch up please like <laughs> and subscribe because we can increase the budget. We can show you more stuff. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow, later. everybody. Bye. See you well. See you well. But Some good work done by the people at SeaWorld. Yes, and that's just the first place we've been. Okay, we're going to watch from the Sea Lion shows. It um, doesn't start until half past. Apparently everybody wants to go a different way to me, of course they bloody do. But as soon as I get a head start, I get called back. Piece of taking the piss. You have to listen to us next time. No, I can do what I want. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. That's exciting. That, that's exciting. Yeah. Dolphin. Move the walkway, watch the set. Whoa. Cheers, mate. Sorry. Overhead on the Kraken. I did my best. Really enjoyed it. I know I feel ill. I just wish I wasn't like this. I wish I could go on roller coaster. And I've got the same experience as everybody else. And I've got a headache because it's so hot. You're looking at that like you're not here. You're looking at you're just watching this. Yeah, you're sat at home watching this with your air con in your nice cold countries. And we're baking away for the content, aren't we? Yeah. But we're still lucky to be here. Yeah. <laughs> we are in officially aircon. Well, not that much aircon, but like we're still cooler. Yeah. <laughs> that over. Over. Everyone's coming. Roger. Dave went to Sea World. Haven't done much. Walked around. Sweat a lot. <laughs> Drinks bright. <laughs> oh my God, the aircon. Um, we're going to um, the dolphin thingy. I don't even know what it's called anymore. That's got. Yeah. Does Grandma want to say anything? Hello. Does Charlotte want to say anything? Hi. Does Lily want to say anything? Yeah. No, yeah. we're in America and we did see Mickey Mouse. We did see Mickey Mouse. Does Ruben want to say anything? Ruben doesn't even know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, um, Ruben's shy. Look <laughs> at that look. He's probably not shy, he just eats the paparazzi. Um, does Jack want to say anything? <laughs> um, nothing that I've been saying already. We're in America, we've seen Mickey Mouse. Hello. <laughs> Hello.